A good sandwich always makes my belly happy. First things first. Grab your tomatoes, any kind will do, but you'll want to make sure that they're a bit firmer as they will soften when fried. And if you use a perfectly ripe tomato, it just might be too soggy. You'll want to cut your tomatoes a bit thick so that it holds up when fried as well. And you don't want to use the end as the breadcrumb mixture and flour just, it just won't adhere to it. So if anything, just toss some salt on it and have yourself a little snack. Now I did cut these tomatoes a little thicker than I wanted, but they still turned out great in the end. I'm going to pre-salt these just to draw out any excess moisture, but also to help season the tomatoes from within. Set them aside until you're ready to fry. Time for the bomba mayo. It's been a few videos since I've used it. For people familiar with it, they know all about it. And if not, I'll leave a link in the description below with a recipe where I use bomba sauce and explain what it is. For the bomba mayo, you can use any ratio of mayo to bomba sauce and give a nice mix. Let's set up the dredging and breading station. Say that five times fast. In one plate, add some all-purpose flour, salt, freshly cracked pepper, smoked paprika, and some dried chili flakes, and give a mix. In a shallow bowl, add one egg with a bit of milk and whisk it all up. In the last plate, uh, I like to use a combination of regular breadcrumbs and panko. So doing that, add salt and freshly cracked pepper, some freshly chopped parsley and fresh torn basil. Oh, and a generous amount of Parmigiano Reggiano. Give a mix and let's start. Dab off any excess moisture from the tomatoes with a paper towel and then place in the flour mixture and cover it all up. Then into the egg mixture, same thing, cover it all up. And then into the breadcrumbs, covering and pressing down to get the breadcrumbs to stick. Now you can do a single or a double coating of the breadcrumbs here. So if you do a double, that's back into the egg mixture and then back into the breadcrumbs. In a pan that's deep enough for shallow frying, add enough oil to cover half of the tomato. A neutral oil works here, such as a canola or vegetable oil. Once hot, add a couple of the tomato slices into the hot oil away from you and fry each side until golden brown. Uh, these took about two to three minutes per side and that all depends on how thick you cut the tomatoes. Once done, remove to a plate, line with paper towel and season with some salt. Toast up a couple of brioche buns in butter and let's build. Add some bomba mayo on the bottom half bun, then add the fried tomato. Now for some fresh mozzarella that you can season with salt and freshly cracked pepper as well. Then we're gonna add three to four slices of thinly sliced prosciutto di parma. Some more bomba sauce, if you like, on the top half bun, and you know what to do. Bring it to the table. All right, if you love tomatoes, you have to make this. I love it, it's so juicy and flavorful. I love the prosciutto as well, and of course the bomba mayo, the fresh mozzarella, oh, crispy tomato, brioche bun, perfect. I hope you give this recipe a go, and as always, the full recipe is in the link in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and until next time, ciao.